I hope you religious people, particularly the Christians, whatever, the self-proclaimed Christians, I hope you guys are paying paying attention to this clip. You see the caption, it says, after 15 years, God said, that is not your husband. <laughs> hey, man, look, I hope you, hey, you Christians out here, people don't under, like this, this, let's take a listen. Let's look, let's look at the excuse, the excuses that she's about to make for leaving a 15 year uh, marriage <laughs> or whatever years long term. It made have it might have been in, in, in it might have been. They might have spent like five years together or 10 and, and, and 10 married, whatever. But let, let's 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 hear her excuse We're together for 15 years. We were married for seven. It was a beautiful. Ah, OK. Together for seven, together. No, sorry, married for seven years, but they've been together for fifteen years. All right, fair use, by the way, fair use, fair use, and I'm not going to pause it again. My bad. Well, thing, and we still had like you know the, the normal ups and downs, but I will say we didn't have a relationship where we argued all the time. Yeah. We didn't have a relationship where we were dealing with infidelity or okay. stuff like that. Yeah. You know, during those times, we didn't have that type of relationship. So, because we were friends first, yeah. you know, so it was always like that's my home. It was just something in me as a woman. I cannot explain it to where it was like I was battling myself. You feel like I'm trying to do the right thing, but it's something that's pulling me away from doing this. But why would it pull me away from my husband? I'm battling in the midst of that with religion, like with the people telling me at church and what I'm getting spiritual advice from. And then I'm battling with it with myself. Like, why am I feeling this way? I'm talking about I'm going to therapy for myself to figure out why am I feeling this way towards my husband. And the way I was feeling, it wasn't like I felt resentment towards him. It was almost like, I was withholding a piece of me that I couldn't give him. I'm sitting on the couch and we had a small issue and that small issue was back that pattern. Now you didn't want the therapy for this. We didn't have talks for this. I don't talk to you. What did you get from this when we had to say to make sure you understand because I love to communicate. And I'm sitting on the couch y'all and I kid you not, God told me that is not your husband. Wow. And this is the problem also because I hear a male co-host in the background I hope y'all called her out for the nonsense. But what what's it called? The Corian Jess Crock Pod? Whoever Corey is, you're doing you're doing the 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 sacred name of Corey Raw. <laughs> Anyways, man. Whoever that male co-host is, just to be like, wow. Just say wow. Even though you know she's saying nonsense. Now, let's let this play out. I'm trying to um We were together for 50. 10 years we were married for seven it was a beautiful thing and we still had like you know the so if you notice the chest tattoo so right here before i go in on her i'm gonna call out the men here men y'all need to know better than this you can't marry abroad and it's clear what her past was like you can't turn a hoe into a housewife well, so it looks like you were living with her, right? You guys were together for eight years before you got married for an additional seven years, right? So you were stupid. You fell for it. She was probably love bombing you with Punani, right? Putting it down on you and you caught feelings because men can catch feelings as well. And you decided to turn a hoe into a housewife because I can, I'm just looking at her and I'm already seeing the chest slash breast tattoo. <laughs> Which she probably got at like age 16, 17, or 18. <laughs> right? Like, dude, you can't you can't wife up a woman with, with no with no chest tattoo. What 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 the hell are we doing here, guys? <laughs> like we, we 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 bruh. Anyways, moving on past that point. Next point. This is clearly one of these bras that's like, oh, my body. He probably fell for that. My past doesn't matter. And blah, blah. Clearly, this was a, a former stripper of some sort, or she worked in a bottle service industry, some, some something industry wise, or she's working in that industry as right now as we speak. Oh, they got her tag. Hold on. Hold on. I think I, I think I got her. Um, let me see this. Is this her? Let me see. Is this, I think this is her. I think this is her. I'm looking at this. I don't, I think this is her page. I could be wrong or I, I don't know. Maybe that's her business. It looks like that might be her business, but uh, 
let's try let, let me try this other tag let's try this other tag real quick let's try this other tag oh yeah this is her <laughs> child of god follower of christ vessel of the holy spirit daughter mother so kids are involved oh my god Or maybe oh 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 no never mind that's not I was about to say okay no this is her never mind that's somebody this is somebody different never mind guys this is somebody different this is somebody different so this is not her this is not her this is not her this is not her this is her I think <laughs> I'm I'm trying I don't know let me see that's why my mama feel like that. You know what I'm saying? All I was able to give her so much grace in in the midst of my divorce. I'm sa I'm saving and healing myself. Like, like Crystal, you was resenting your mama, and you felt like she was just so bitter and da da da. She just I don't want to say what I just thought in my mind. I I, I was going to say something very unpleasant about her, very something very unpleasant. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna just control myself, my my uh, my temper. I'm not I'm not gonna have a tantrum like I did the other day when that <laughs> when that dumb when that dumbass went in my in my in my chat and did that that stupid stuff. Anyways. <laughs> oh man, this is why I can't listen to women when it comes to these these kind of things. Because I would have said something, I would be like, um, she's talking about a voice in her head said, That's not your husband. No, don't 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 bring God into this. I was saying that God told you that that no, no, no. The streets came calling. You were bored of the relationship. He was a decent dude. Like I said, I told you what, what women, the kind of the people that women will deal with, right? He was a decent dude. He was a decent dude. You were bored. He didn't quote unquote stimulate you. He became Mr. Boring Guy after he married you or whatever. And you wanted an excuse to leave the relationship so you can be back in the streets because that's where you came from in the first place. <laughs> yeah, you know, but men need to see videos like this before even deciding to get married. This is why I always this is why particularly I feel bad for the women that actually genuinely want to get married because we already know is women like this messing up the game. Because men are gonna see this, they're just gonna be like, no. Because men don't fear marriage, they fear divorce because we already know a woman like this, she didn't leave empty handed. She didn't like a woman like this, they're not gonna leave empty handed. They're not women don't just leave and then just leave you alone. That 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 rarely happens. That rarely happens. They leave with a pound of flesh, especially if kids are involved. They're leaving with more than a pound of flesh. Way more than that. <laughs> the normal ups and downs. But I will say we didn't have a relationship where we argued all the time. Yeah. We didn't have a relationship where we were dealing with infidelity or okay. stuff like that, yeah. you know, during those times. We didn't have that type of relationship. So if a man is not doing nothing wrong in a relationship, but she still is finding an excuse to leave. The, the average or normal man seeing this, they're just like, bruh. <laughs> so like, because most of the time when women say, oh, he was abusive, he was narcissistic, they're lying. Most, a lot of, especially nowadays, I will say most of them are lying. Most of them are lying or they were in a quote unquote abusive relationship, but really she was the abusive one. Or she was, there was a, 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 a hint of narcissism in the relationship, but she was the narcissistic one. She's just lying about who it was that was narcissistic, right? This is the average situation, in my opinion. Now, like I said, if there was no incentives for women leaving marriages and if there was no family court in terms of child support and all this stuff, she would still be in that relationship. Trust me. Women do this stuff because they know they can leave and not only not get punished for leaving, they actually get rewarded financially for leaving. This is why they do that. They can bring God into this. They can act like, oh, uh, uh, I'm, I'm on my spiritual and healing journey and blah, blah, blah. No. They know there's more incent. There's. They. There's more incentives for women to break up families there's more there's there's an incentive for them to break up their families there's an incentive for them to leave their husband after a certain amount of years you know what i mean now i'll say in this case she left at the seven year mark so she could even wait to the 10 year mark <laughs> she could even wait to the 10 year mark 
right? So that's how that's how badly the streets were calling for her, you know. Now she won't admit this, but that's what happened. And like I said, she's clearly she has another man in her ear, spitting game, clearly. And she's about to find out the reality of that situation. You know, but that's that's really what it is. She can bring God into this and all this, <laughs> all that nonsense. But we already we already know what the, we already know what this is. 